Here is a way in which we can find out what the top card of the deck is. We're just going to turn our wrist and instantly know that it's the 10 of diamonds. So once again, let's see another card. We turn our wrist and this one is the Joker. See? So the way that we do this is by using something called the Bubble Peak. I'm moving it in this hand so you can see what's happening. I am basically pushing down on the top card and buckling it up in order for us to be able to see the pip on that side. Notice that if we buckle the card hard enough, we can instantly see the pip over there. So it's just a matter of turning our wrist for a second and noticing that the top card is the 9 of hearts. Try it out. All three fingers over here. We press on the corner towards the right, buckling the card, and we can instantly see that is the 8 of hearts. And this way we can be talking with a spectator, asking for something, take a look at the top card without them noticing, and then instantly force it. And that is called the bubble peak. Obviously one of the easiest ways in which we can peek at a card, and we have discussed this, is just riffling the end of the deck and noticing, noticing the top card. In this case the seven of hearts. We go again, six of clubs. So that would be the riffle peak, you know. And you've already known this, I've already taught you this, but it doesn't mean that you've probably re remembered that you can do it. As such, I took the time now to mention it and show it to you guys once more.